مطبوعات عزیز افغانستان و ایتالیا بسیار خوش آمدین به کنفرانس مطبوعاتی امروز ما بسیار افتخار دارم که امروز جانات ماب انریکو لتا صدر اعظم محترم ایتالیا به افغانستان تشریف آوردند ایتالیا یک دوست بسیار قدیمی و مطمئن افغانستان است در تمام ساحات مشکلات ما زندگی ما با ما هم کار و همراه بودند خصوصا در ده سال گذشته حکومت ایتالیا با ما همکاری بسیار عالی کرده در قطار اول مساعدت به افغانستان با ما بودند و پیش از او ایتالیا در فراهمواری زمینه برای تفاهم بین الافغانی و کوشش ها برای لوی جرگه از طریق الازرت بابای ملت اینا همکار بودن و با خوبی و مهمان نوازی بسیار علی زمین اساس بودن ایتالیا با رای افغانستان قسمه که همه ما میدانیم دوستی بسیار دیری نداره و به همی دلیل هم است که دوتان از پاچه های بزرگ افغانستان شاهمان لای غازی و بابای ملت الازرت محمد زهر شاه هر دویشان در روم زندگی کردن امروز تکرارا از کمک های بسیار عالی ایتالیا در ده سال گذشته از کمک مالیشان و از کمک امنیتیشان به افغانستان تشکر میکنیم و جنات ماب سرازم ایتالیا و خواهی لیتاره به افغانستان دوباره خوش آمدید میگوییم و صحبت امروز ما در مورد تحکیم رابط بین تو کشور مفید و مصمر و به طرف آینده بود ویلکم بیست پرایم میرستر I want to, to thank you, President Karzai, for your kind uh, hospitality. Thank you very much. In our discussions today, we have reviewed ex extensively the status of the bil bilateral relations between our two countries. They are at the best, I would say, and yes. I'm very happy of that. Yes. Afghanistan and Italy are bound by a long-term friendship, and our ties have become stronger in the last decade. Afghanistan's search for peace, security, and stability is also ours. We share the common goal of securing our people against the global threat of terrorism. Afghanistan will be facing important challenges in the coming future. 2014 will be the year of a crucial transition from a political and security perspective with the presidential election and the completion of the ISAF mission. I was reassured by President Karzai's determination about the future of Afghanistan, and very happy of that. Enormous efforts are being made to prepare the country to go through these crucial tests. I commend his leadership and vision. I myself reassured President Karzai that Afghanistan will not be let alone. Italy has been making fully its part together with the international community in the stabilization of Afghanistan. We are proud of the daily dedication of our men and women in uniform, as well as of the hundreds of young and generous civilians who are devoting their life to the future of these beautiful countries. Many of them made the ultimate sacrifice. Absolutely. To all of them and to their families, I extend my personal gratitude. A lot has been done to foster social and economic development, to enhance administrative capacities and governance, to support population access, to education and health, to build roads and schools, to set up democratic functioning state institutions in a secure environment. But a lot remains to be done to make sure the progress made is sustainable and not reversible, and to transform Afghanistan into a stable, peaceful, and prosperous country. For this reason, Italy will remain engaged in support to the priorities set jointly with the Afghan government and along with our international partners in the post-2014 period. I have confirmed to President Karzai our readiness to continue to contribute 
to train and assist the Afghan security forces after 2014 as a part of a collective effort. I have equally confirmed our willingness to continue our development programs in priority fields such as rural development, infrastructure, health, institution building and governance, gender issues. Much more remains to be done so that Afghanistan is able to meet the commitments taken with the international community in the field of electoral processes, good governance, fight against corruption, protection of human rights, as well as the participation of women of political life. I want to speak loud and clear to the people of Afghanistan, as well as to my fellow Italians. What is at stake here is our common future. We have to stand united and do our part to build peace and prosperity for our children. This is our engagement, and we will not spare our efforts. Thank you. Welcome, Prime Minister. Thank you for the kind remarks. Thank you. Would you, Mr. Prime Minister, like to pick up the first question? Of course. Well, there he is. تشکر جناب آقای صدر اعظم ایتالیا تشریف آوری شما را به افغانستان خوش آمدید میگم ایتالیا با مسابه متحد استراتژیک افغانستان با اینکه در گذشته سند همکاری های استراتژیک را با جانب افغانستان به امضا رسیدند و بر اساس از این سند تعهدات در عرصه های مختلف با افغانستان دارند اما ناتو میخواهد قرارداد استراتژیک با افغانستان در آینده های نزدیک امضا بکنه ایتالیا به مسابه عضو پیمان ناتو با امضای این قرارداد چی همکاری هایی را میتونه به جانب افغانستان تعهد بکنه تشکر of course we want to continue this cooperation and we would like to do that in the multilateral framework that is what i told to President Karzai, the multilateral cooperation framework of cooperation is our own way to uh, act uh, at, the, uh, at the international level. This is why we think that here is absolutely necessary to be and to stay inside a NATO and a uh, multilateral framework. This is why I think Italy will contribute and could contribute to uh, this uh, process, but I would like to say also, I, I think we, we, we can say, we, we talked also about the need for us to develop our cooperation, and I would say not to talk only about security, mm -hmm. because after 12 years of presence here, of engagement of Italy here, all the know-how of our presence here the good and the strict cooperation and bilateral relationship will, I think, bring us, and I would like really to work for, for uh, this goal and in the aim of this mission to have good economic and trade partnerships. That is crucial and important for the future of Afghanistan and because of, of course, the importance of an Italian presence in this part of the world. This is why with President Karzai we discussed also about uh, possible fields of cooperation between our two countries on the economic uh, and trade level. Excellent. Excellent. Any question from the Italian press? Salam alaikum, Mr. President. Thank you for your hospitality. Welcome. And buongiorno, President Letta. Uh, given that the strategic agreement between the United States and Afghanistan is still on the table, so we don't know yet how many U.S. troops will stay in the country and what will be the purpose of their mission, uh, did you discuss today the sides and the goals of a, an hypothetical military mission of the Italian troops uh, to assist Afghanistan after the withdrawal of ISAF troops after the 214, and so especially the numbers and the yes. goals. 
Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, we discussed with uh, uh, Prime Minister Letta, as you call it, Italian President Letta, uh, the uh, Italian presence after 2014. Afghanistan, I can tell you with confidence, uh, welcomes uh, an Italian presence in Afghanistan after 2014. The Italian presence in Afghanistan in the past 12 years has been one of uh, dedication and help to the Afghan people, and one that the Afghan people appreciated that the Italian side handled very carefully and delicately. Uh, so uh, we welcome an Italian presence. Now, whether uh, that Italian presence of 2014 in terms of security arrangements will be uh, in which range is uh, up to the Italian government to agree. Uh, Afghanistan will go along with any decision that uh, Italy will make in this regard. Uh, in addition to that, uh, as uh, the Prime Minister rightly referred to in the earlier question, we, we also discussed uh, um, economic uh, cooperation between the two countries, investment in Afghanistan, uh, in the mineral areas, in the marble industry. Uh, we in Afghanistan, sir, are aware for a long time now of the uh, quality of Italian industry and technology and of the uh, fineness of that industry and uh, technology. So we're looking forward to a broader relationship, uh, uh, security, and other. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, ladies. Mr. Prime Minister, any more questions we'd like to have? Maybe just one word on, on, on this question. I will say that, uh, as President Karzai said, uh, we will discuss our presence here after 2014 within the multilateral framework, first of all. And of course, it's very important to say that ISAF mission will end in 2014, and our presence will be a completely different one would be a presence here for a training mission. And of course, it will be a presence that uh, the size and the rest will be discussed at multilateral level, first of all, and of course, inside the Italian uh, uh, institutions with the parliament. And uh, of course, we want to assure, and I reassured President Karzai, that we want to have a future, first of all, as economic development, because we are sure that 12 years of good bilateral, of perfect bilateral cooperation will be very important to be developed for the interest, the mutual interest of Afghanistan and Italy. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Well, for the benefit of the press, one